Okay, morning once again. Guess who's here today? <laughs> See the people inside. <laughs> so, let's come a little bit high up. Camping there, we have a pretty good view of what has happened in the valley here. <laughs> this happens every single morning. <laughs> Reading yesterday is the best place in the world to uh, take a hot air balloon ride because of the, the amazing landscape you fly over. The weather here in the mornings with the sunrise. You actually hear them talking in this balloon at the moment. Exploring. This is a church we just found here. I think uh, also people have been buried in here. I think looks like it. Let's see. Looks like a tomb here. It's about 6:30 in the morning, and most of the balloons now have uh, descended and started landing different places, so they don't actually go too far, especially today when there's no wind. So, as you can see in the background here, that's the town of Goreen, where we were yesterday evening in the restaurant. And down there, to a campsite there. So, and the takeoff area is just there for the balloon, so they fly from there, straight down the valley here, and then land somewhere down there. Okay. Not good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> Wednesday 23rd of May. You saw we was up early this morning already. Now we've been back, Jamie's been to sleep again. Yeah, and eat breakfast and now we want to go out and on an ATV. I think. Mm, a quad, yeah. A quad, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and you've been swimming? And I have been swimming in mm -hmm. a big swimming pool. Mm. Yeah, so we'll uh, venture out once again and uh, go and uh, explore the area by quad. So yeah. let's see what we discover then. Okay, let's go. I forgot. Once again, we've spent the morning discussing Iran. Still, <laughs> yeah, we're getting close to the point where we where we uh, 
think it's just, just too much hassle. But we're extremely, extremely close to that uh, it's going to succeed. So uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Now it's uh, just time to make a decision whether we go for it or not. So, um, but a lot of work just because uh, I have a British passport. Much, much easier if we had a Danish one. Pretty run anyway. <laughs> yes, let's go. But, uh, let's, go let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go ATV. That sounds fun. Okay, and we just rented two quads. Let's go and have some fun. <laughs> This one is called Love Valley. Doesn't need too much explanation to okay. understand the reason for that name. The Explorer ATV is looking a bit dusty. A little dusty. Jamie's uh, covered in dust. You can see J Jamie's all dusty as well. He said he would wash him with a hose pipe when we come back. <laughs> Might be necessary. <laughs> This is Mushroom Valley. Now we are going to Rose Valley. Okay, this valley is called Rose Valley. Not sure why this is called Rose Valley. But yeah, what's the name of it? Oh, this is called Rose Valley because it used to be a rose garden here. Mm, good explanation. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> is the Red Valley. That's quite easy to understand why it's called Red Valley. Now, now, I'm, now I'm on the ATV and now we are trying to see all the bits in Cappadocia so we are sightseeing today and I will recommend uh, to come on the ATV because it's, um, it's very quickly to see everything so I would say it's good to try to ATV and there are many companies here so you can try it. We're going through the different valleys, we're going through Sword Valley, Mushroom Valley, Rose Valley and Red Valley yeah. so far. So now we get to see all the valleys here. More than two hours. Yeah. Okay, let's go! <laughs> this is the way you get the dust off afterwards. <laughs> Market here full of spices and nuts and vegetables, all kinds of things. <laughs> so we just put now that tomorrow we're gonna go horseback riding a sunset tour, two hour tour. Uh, we didn't manage to do it in Iceland because we were too busy. So now we're doing it here. Good place to do it as well. Yes, look forward to that. And now there are horses that are coming. Started with Bicycles and ATV, and then we're going to change to four-legged transport. Yes, and okay. then afterwards, then we're going to decide which vehicle we're going to use on the further trip around the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, which one Jamie's is going to choose? <laughs> Second thing we book for tomorrow is a Turkish bath. So after it's really on holiday now, <laughs> three thousand kilometers, we need to get clean. <laughs> and uh, a funny thing, tomorrow uh, we uh, mom are going on a swimming pool. What I'm doing? Go to a jacuzzi. <laughs> so, and mom, 
That's because for women it's swimming pool in the hammam and for men it's jacuzzi and not the other way around. I don't know why. <laughs> so but anyway, this looks a bit more luxury than the last Turkish spa I went in. Mm. Yeah, we saw a lady on YouTube, she recommended this place. And so, I mean, we found it in real life. So, okay. That was that. That's the plan for tomorrow. Balloons, um, hammam and pony riding. Should be a full day. <laughs> Back to Turkish restaurants tonight, but this is a new experience. Fire food. <laughs> yeah. This place somebody recommended to us. It's a restaurant in one of the caves. Yeah. Splashing out of me. On holiday now. And Jamie, I'm going on over to Mexico now. Now Jamie are eating pancakes. So I'm hopping over to Mexico. First camels we've seen on the trip from the Silk Road. That's very high. I didn't expect that.